Okay, we are live. I am with Leanne Harris today. Hi, Heather. Thanks. I've been so looking forward to talking to you about your book coaching program. Thank you so much, Leanne. So hey. what do you want to know? <laughs> so you are starting a step-by-step -step compassionate six-week course on book coaching, and it starts in the middle, beginning of October, correct? Yes, October 6th. Okay, tell me a little bit, first off, when we say book coaching, what are we talking about? Is that editing? Is that proofreading? What are we doing? We're not proofreading. We're not <laughs> copy editing. Um, we are, so the way that I do book coaching, um, I work with individuals one-on-one -on -one, and now people in this course um, to really bring out their strengths as a writer, their strengths as a voice, their unique voice, um, to help them be very clear on what their why is, who they need to be to write this particular piece, um, and who their ideal reader is, who um, they are going to be, you know, speaking to with this unique voice of theirs, um, and then creating that plan for the book, that um, big book plan that has all the things and finding a really nice organization and flow for that, um, deciding, okay, are these the big ideas that are all inclusive here or do I need to include other things? Um, do I need to break this up in a different way? What would be the best way for my reader to understand this? Um, and then moving into the actual writing of the first draft. And it's a really collaborative process with me. So I've been in the book um, industry, book publishing industry um, since 1997. So I've been in traditional publishing and now in self-publishing and I'm also in the coaching in world. So I use a lot of compassionate um, mind strategies and skills um, and practices for those times when um, things get hard, things get difficult, things get challenging. Because when you're writing a book, it's a very vulnerable process. And um, so that's what those comp self-compassionate skills and strategies are for. Um, so I use those a whole lot and um, help my clients through those difficult patches and then set them on a path for, um, you know, not only starting, but, you know, getting into the middle and then completing their book. So um, when I'm working one-on-one -on -one with someone, I usually take it all the way through to the end. But in this course, I'm taking it basically through um, that, all that foundational stuff so that they have a really solid place in which to go from and then you know uh, some consistent practices set up so they can not only start but um you know go through all the middle part of the writing process and then get to the end um because that's where we want we want the publish so so a lot of writers think writing a book comes down to what you're referring to as the middle part the writing of the book Mm -hmm. Tell me more about why an author finding their why is so important to actually finishing their book. Okay. So I am super passionate about this. Um, you know, Simon Sinek came out with a book a number of years ago, Start With Why. And that is important, I think, in anything you're doing, but particularly for a book and for writing a book. Um, and the reason I always start there is because, and you may have that kind of like knee jerk reaction, like, oh, I know I'm writing this book. Um, it's, you know, I, I just wanna, I, I have this message that I wanna share, but why do you want to share it? Why do you need to share it? Why is this the thing you cannot not do? And building that emotional connection with their book in that way, and really kind of having a heartfelt sense of, um, the reason you want to not only start but complete this and share it with the world that helps you through the mucky middle 
knowing that building that connection helps you through those difficult times. And I actually have a writing exercise around this. We talk about it, but we write about it and we share with each other about it so that it becomes almost ingrained and you do build a very strong emotional connection with that. And then when you get to a place where you're feeling like, oh, this is hard. I don't want to write. I, I don't know why I'm writing this book anymore. You have physical evidence that tells you from you why you're writing this book. So because I can stand up and I have many times with, with clients who come to me and they say, I don't know why I'm doing this. I know we talked about this a whole lot. Let me tell you again. But I also have that document that they did for me saying why they wanted to. So that's really building a, an emotional connection and it's giving your future self a gift of from your past self uh, that this is why we're writing the book. This is why this is so important. This is why it's not negotiable. So I really, really, I love the fact that you're incorporating all that emotional and all the techniques and everything that you've used with all of your clients 101. So since this is a group coaching class, how is this structured? Like how much mm -hmm. interaction will we get with you? Well, the thing I love about this is that it really um, allows me to build some community with um, the people in the group. So there will be two classes per week. Um, the first class is a teaching class, but it's also very interactive, experiential um, and practical. You will be sharing, you will be working and doing writing. Um, and then the second class during the week is a coaching Q&A class. So if you have questions, bring it. If you want to be coached, bring it. I am there for you to um, use it as you will. Um, and there will be some bits of life coaching during the teaching classes too, but that's, I wanted to create an opportunity for more of that. So, because um, if you've ever been in a um, group setting where someone asks a question and says like, I have this going on right now in my life, or, you know, I need help with this, usually, you can point to something if you're, if it's a, you know, like a, a group that is all doing the same thing, someone else in that group is going to say, oh, me too. I can't wait to hear what she has to say <laughs> because I can use this for myself. But, you know, for those people who say, I want more one-on-one, -on -one, that's your opportunity to raise your hand and, you know, email me prior to class and say, hey, I want some coaching on my book plan, or I want some coaching on this um, difficult these difficult thoughts that keep looping around in my head. What do I do with this? Um, so two classes per week, six weeks. And then um, if that still feels like you would like more one-on-one -on -one with me, I have an option to add on four one-on-one uh, -on -one coaching sessions in addition to the course. Very nice. Oh, and also we'll have like a closed Facebook group, you know, to, to build some further community in there too definitely nice to get that writer community built right from the start to support you throughout writing the book. Yeah. And um, I think, you know, writing is a pretty uh, isolated process. You have to do it with yourself <laughs> and just yourself. <laughs> and you're, you spend a lot of time in your head. So having an opportunity to be with other people who are doing the same thing and having the same challenges and, um, having the same types of successes too. Um, like, oh my gosh, I, I figured out my, this, this part and it feels so good. And, oh, I did too. And, you know, I really want to dispel the myth of that tortured writer. It doesn't have to be a tortured process. It's a challenging process, but it doesn't have to be tortured. And having this community of people around you and I'm creating a safe container for that, um, I think is really helpful. I really like the fact that you're not only helping people plan the book, but you're giving that emotional aspect of the creative and writing process in there along right with it. Tell me about why it's so important to you for yourself uh, to help the voice of that tortured writer. <laughs> I, I, yeah, because I don't, I would like them to be a contented writer versus a tortured writer. Um, so I have 
as I said, you know, I've been in the publishing industry for over 20 years, but I've also, you know, published a book. I've published four books myself. So I know what it feels like when you're in that mucky middle as a writer. I know what it feels like when um, you need to feel kind of that, that warm hug <laughs> and say like, it's okay. And so I really want to help as many people as I can, particularly women, get their voices out there. Um, and I know that knowing that there is um, other people supporting you can really help to create some momentum for you too. And that's the way that this course is designed and my one-on-one -on -one work is designed is to help people have success, help writers to have success, like small successes over and over and over, small incremental steps to create big change. Um, and that big change happens to be writing a book in this case. And you yourself know exactly what it feels like as a writer. Um, what do you feel like you really focus on when you do these group writing programs that you yourself experienced when you wrote your book and all of them? Um, you know, I think of when you're first starting out, it feels intimidating. So being able to break things down into bites um, into incremental steps that um, lead to the bigger goal is, you know, something that always helps when you have a big project, like I'm going to write my book today. Wow, that's really overwhelming. Um, or like, I'm going to, you know, like start doing this. That's, a, and here's the blank page. That doesn't feel good. Um, and that feels tortured, right? So what would not feel tortured is to say, no, I want you to do this writing exercise and I want you to connect with um, the emotion that you have that feels so excited right now. And, um, you know, everything that I do in each, in each class is very specific and targeted to what we're doing on that day and what we're doing that week. So you don't have to think about necessarily all of the things because I've already thought of them for you. Um, and then I can guide you through that process. Now, because when I wrote my books, I knew what the process was and I still had to break it down for myself because that's a big thing um, to write a book. So I had to say, okay, I need to use the same process I use with my writers here and break it down, break it down, break it down and go through all of the steps. Um, you know, when you have a lot to do, that's when you need to slow down so that you can speed up. <laughs> because if you don't take the time to do those, you know, foundational things, um, it bites you later on. And you've got that compassionate teaching and that compassionate background that will mm -hmm. really help even the most timid writer, I think, even in this yeah. plan. Yeah, I mean, that's my whole goal is to make it not intimidating. I am going to ask you to stretch out of your comfort zone, but I'm going to be there with you every step of the way um, and reassure you that this is a safe place to do that. And, you know, I'm here um, as your, your guide and your um, uh, momentum specialist, maybe. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> like that. And... Well yeah. yeah, I mean, that sounds amazing. So where do where do we go to sign up? Tell us. So um, on my website at cmcollab.com, there's a special page just for this. Um, so it's cmcollab.com slash writing hyphen your hyphen book. Great. Heather, I am so excited. This starts in the beginning of October. Yep. So please get there very, very soon. Yes, space Sign is up. limited because I want to create that community. So yeah. That's awesome. That's very good. I'm really, really looking forward to this. And thank you for bringing your gifts and your why to all the writers who need their voices heard. Thank you so much, Leanne. Um, thank you. We'll talk to you soon. Hey. Bye. Bye.